This is a cover-up. This is environmental racism, and this is deadly. The leaders of Fort Chippewan in northern Alberta alleging Canada hid vital information from them, putting people at risk. Their concerns surround a local Transport Canada dock or wharf in use since the 60s in the remote Indigenous community of about 1,000 people. A 2017 engineering report for the federal government outlines chemical contamination in the dock area caused by decades of use, fuel seepage and at least one large diesel spill in the 80s. But two local chiefs and a Métis president say they were never informed of the contamination and only found out when the report was leaked to them this summer. And it's sad because the, the federal government always talks about truth and reconciliation, but yet they cannot be truthful to something that's so uh, important to us, and that's the, the health of our water. The dock was a popular spot for boats and swimming, leaders say. They're now offering health screenings and healing circles to people who have been in the water or harvested from it. Community leaders in Fort Chip have long claimed elevated rates of rare cancers, which they believe are the result of being downstream from Alberta's oil sands. They're now demanding federal ministers meet with them in Fort Chippewan to make a plan to remediate the site and make it suitable for both community use and as a wildfire evacuation point. If that doesn't happen, a lawsuit has been threatened. We will not rest until this problem is resolved or those who participate in the cover-up cover are brought to justice. In response, Transport Canada says studies concluded that the wharf site poses no risk to human health and a remediation plan is being developed. A spokesperson added that since there is no agreement to transfer the wharf to Fort Chippewan, there was no obligation to share detailed information on contaminants. From Edmonton, Sean Amato, City News.